Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. In this video, I will show you how to define a cyclic job that perform a do rerun or stop cyclic when it fails for a specific numbers of times. In this demonstration, I will be using ControM version 9. In this example, I have created two cyclic jobs which have incorrect commands to simulate a job failure. For job test 1, it consists of an OS command that performs host name 1. In the scheduling tab, it is set to cyclic with a max rerun of 4. And the action tab, I have specified when the job number of failure equals to 3 to stop cyclic. For job test 2, it consists of a simple OS command that performs a DIR123. In the scheduling tab, I have set it to cyclic as well with a max rerun of 4. In the action tab, I have specified the undo action when job number of failures equals to 2, rerun the job. So now I will click order to run the jobs. Next, go to monitoring domain and locate the tool test job. Here I will right click on job test one and view the log. In the job log, you will see number of failures set to one number of failures set to 2, number of failures set to 3, and then do stop cycling. This is because in the job test 1, we have specified when job number of failure equals to 3, we will do stop cycling. Next, we will look at job test 2, job log. Here you will see the job ended not okay with the number of failures equals to 1. In the next run, where you see run count 2, the message from the agent is job completed and the status is set to not okay as a result of do rerun. This is because for job test 2, we have an undo action that states job number of failure equals to 2, do a rerun. That concludes this ControM solution video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.